hello guys welcome back to my channel technical warehouse so today we are going to learn about uh, not about actually we are going to create a mini true color okay a true color application using uh, Django so those who are new to my channel please subscribe the channel okay so without any ado let's get started so right now we are at uh, our pycharm editor you can use anything you can use your vs studio or sublime it is up to you only the basic requirement is like you know uh, the flow of django okay so let's get started so right now i'll just start saying that okay i have already created a project uh, saying mini true color okay so after that we'll uh, see where what what uh, uh, install modules are there for us in this uh, project environment so we already have django pip uh, pytz this all uh, this comes with django and all so uh, the people who don't have uh, this uh, django module already installed when you uh, run this command pip list so no need to worry if that is the case you just have to uh, just write pip install django and this will uh, and then hit enter it will install the django module for you okay so now uh, let's get started we'll first uh, create a project for this this is the project folder but now we'll create the project okay django django admin start project We'll call this as uh, mini mini true color app. Okay. Wait. Okay. Let's just see whether it created or not. I'll check the air. Okay. We, it is there. If you click over here, you can see it is here. Okay. Now uh, we have to. Uh, go inside this okay click over here and then we have to first check whether it is running properly or not so i'll just run python manage dot pi okay run server 127.0 this is your like local host okay my you can use anything i'm using port uh, 8080 okay so we cannot as you can see that we cannot run this okay can't open the manager file okay there is no such file or directory this is because we are in this project folder right now okay mini true color and inside mini true color we can only see there is only mtca and a virtual environment uh, folder okay there is no uh, manage.py so what we'll do we'll go inside this mct a mini true color app folder okay now if you see here I'll show you both ways. we can see the manage.py or if you just simply click over here also you can see manage.py is there okay so uh, no issues we'll we are inside it now we'll do python manage.py run server okay, 127.0.01 and run this at port number 8080 okay so let's just wait okay now it is running okay i'll simply copy this i don't know whether this will work or not because if i do control c it will cancel it uh, let me see is it there okay you can copy okay so i'll just simply hit here so if you see this page then uh, you're good to go okay your uh, django is successfully installed and it is running uh, on this your local host at port 8080 okay now let's get back over here okay now let's just cancel it control c with control c you can uh, stop the server so when you stop the server if you reload this page whatever the default page we got after the installation of django it won't come okay okay no problem now we are already inside the i mean like a project now okay so here you will see different different files are there okay correct 
Oh, come here. As you can see, we have different different files over here. Okay, init pi settings pi. This this we have like different different um, like settings will be there. Okay, so no need to worry about that right now. URLs are there. Okay, and this is regarding the server and all. And by default, uh, 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 Django uses this uh, SQLite uh, 3db. Okay. So what we'll do now we have project so uh, now we have to create a app okay so we'll name that app uh, so for that we need to use this command python manage dot pi okay uh, start start app start app we can give this as True, true caller. Okay. So now, if you see, if you do dir, we can see there is a, another app called True Caller app. Okay. This is the project, and this is the app. So inside one uh, project, you can have multiple app. Okay. Multiple applications. So okay. Now we are we have one project. We have the app. Okay now now what we'll do we'll uh, come over here okay we'll refresh this now you can see there is true color also okay now inside this application there are also uh, pre pre files are there okay pre created files are there which are all nothing but the pi files okay or pi, python files so but you can see in uh, our project we have urls.py but in uh, true color app we don't have uh, the URLs by what we'll do we'll create a for URLs dot pi for this okay so we'll go we'll check this and we will do URLs want to give extension we'll just check this select this and then done so so to remove you know confusion if both uh, project URLs and the app urls both are open then you can easily differentiate here it will be like true colors urls.py and this will be like the project mtca mini true color app urls.py okay okay so now as you can see we see this uh, code is written in uh, urls.py i'll simply just copy this okay and put it here okay ditto no need to change anything okay now what happen is like uh, this the use of this urls.py is nothing but let's just say if when you browse on internet okay and you know the address okay let's just say this one if i run this okay with the extensions saying that uh, 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 take me to some admin admin page okay so uh, this is url path okay so when you search anything in this uh, address bar okay for that project it will come here it will come in the project and it will ask uh, uh, somebody is searching for this tell me how, where should i root this what should i show so i'll show you something if i run this server now okay it's running okay now it's running i'll just refresh it okay by default it is it will take me here no problem okay now let's just say i want to go to admin okay admin so it took me here okay so the job of the urls.py is nothing but to redirect uh, the client to that uh, uh, resource whatever they are looking okay so it will come here it will check okay we have if it is there then take uh, that person or that client to this urls okay so similarly uh, let um, let let us create a path so by default uh, uh, django provides us provides us with the admin okay but if we want then we can uh, create our own also okay so just to remove the redundancy we can uh, remove from uh, either this or this okay I'll remove from this. I don't want here. Okay. So 
so no problem so i want something like this 